Hi guys, this is Haikumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn how to combine a React component into our Angular component. This is a different concept which came across combining two different libraries or a framework. So in this case, what I can do is I'm trying to combine that React library with my Angular components. How we can do that? Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. So this is my Angular project and which is having a app component as a default one and here what I want to do is just I want to install some of the dependencies which are required for our react library so one of that case is npm install react and also react dom I just want to install this two let me hit enter and it takes bit time to install these two dependencies and now there is a problem with my Jasmine where my node modules are not getting updated. So for that sake, I'm using a force. And whenever I use the force, React and React DOM dependencies has been installed. And if you go to the packages and you can see that React and React DOM. So they have been installed in this. And now for not getting the compilation errors, I can use some TypeScript data types by using the types of React and React DOM. Let me install this only for the development purpose and I can use types slash react and at the rate types slash react dom. So I'm including both the types and it is something like capital D. So now I can hit enter. So it will go into the dev dependencies again the same problem. Let me use hyphen hyphen force and this is not needed in all the systems so in my system i have some conflicts with my angular node modules so that is the reason i am using force let me check my package json here you can see types as react dom and react so now i'm done with the package json and the dependencies installed so let me go to the folder and let me create one file called as react component dot tsx so I'm creating a one TSX file and now I have a snippet RFC and it will be creating our react structure and I can use instead of normal default import I'm using star as react and let me give here sample react component. So this is my component and here we are exporting as a default one and let me check it is giving some problem with the JSX why because our TypeScript will not allow JSX. We have to tell our TypeScript to allow this. To do that, we can go with tsconfig and inside the compiler option, we have something like JSX. So you can use JSX and what type of JSX I want to use, I want to use React. Let me save this and go to component.tsx. Now the error gone. Now I'm ready with the React component. Just I want to use this component in my app component. So let me go to the app component. Let me create one placeholder to, to render this particular React component. So let me use this div as a placeholder for the React component. I can use hash React component placeholder as a reference. And in this video, we will learn something new concepts, but that has not been discussed in my series. It will be discussed in the future upcoming series. But Try to understand why we are using it. So to point this reference, I have a concept in Angular that is nothing but a view child. We'll discuss about the view child in the upcoming videos. For now, view child is something which you can refer to your DOM elements. It is something like a document dot get element by ID. In the same way, you can refer to the particular React component placeholder by using this view child. And you can give the name for this and then you can give the type as well like element ref element ref is a type which is used in angular let me use angular element ref and by default we don't have any value for this so you can use not symbol so that it will not show any errors whenever you are compiling let me click on enter and let me implement one lifecycle hook called as after view in it there is something called as after view in it i already explained about after view in it in my previous video this would be one of the example for that after view in it after view in it is an interface and a life cycle that has a inbuilt method called as ng after view in it we can use this value so now the error gone why because we have overridden the required method for this after view in it so in this after view in it 
I have the reference which is ready with us that is react placeholder component and this placeholder component should be injected with our react component. So for that sake what I can do I can create something like react dom dot render there is a method called as render and let me import this react dom go to this one and import star as react dom from react dom and also let me import star as react i want to import react from react library and now this render inside this render what i want to do is just i can use react dot create element i am creating one more element here we need to give what element we have to create we are giving an element called as react component which we have already created and this react component should be mounted onto what element what type of element we want to create and what where we have to host it so i want to host onto this dot render dot native element so that's it we are done with the render part so i'll explain you how we are doing this react dom will render this particular element by creating that react component as a particular element and that will be mounted onto my react component placeholder that is already created in angular that is app component dot html so let me run this application ng serve so let me go to the browser and reload so if you see sample react component so let me zoom it you can see that sample react component where this sample react component is getting from it is getting from my react component and let me change this as one two three save and go here and it has been reflected on my angular component so here that is how we have integrated our react library with our angular components and now we are able to render our react components as well in angular but there are few pawns on this approach the problem here is for example this is a small component of react but if we are coming up with a very big component where we are using redux and also axios in our particular component then all the dependencies need to be installed in this angular component so that will become a problem in the size of the application because we are installing lot of dependencies to avoid this we can use something like an angular web components where you will be integrating your angular components into react you will be creating an angular component as a web component which would be something like a javascript file and that javascript file you can use in any other libraries maybe a react maybe vue.js or other libraries so we'll talk about that in the upcoming videos for now we have integrated our react component with the app component so I'll try to make a series on the web components, how to create them, how we can integrate with the particular libraries like React and Vue.js. So hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.